Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing all right. I hope you're all wrapping up warm as it is slowly becoming winter and it is freezing here. Today, we are going to be opening Miss Karma Kiori Sato. This is the box she came in and we're just gonna get straight into it. Whilst I am opening her, I'm gonna tell you about the trials and tribulations of this package. So, this doll was due to ship the end of September, I believe. It's currently the middle of November. It's November 24th today? 23rd, it's the 23rd today. And she was meant to ship the start of October, end of September time. And I never heard anything. So then the dealers that I bought her from, she's a, uh, I bought her from a European dealer in the Netherlands. They went to the Integrity Convention at the, is it the end of October that was? So they said there wouldn't be anything and they wouldn't be shipping dolls until at least the 19th of November. So I got in contact with them and they basically sent um, an update email telling people when they were gonna ship the dolls. Now, cause I'd already pre-ordered another doll, they were keeping this one until the other one was ready to ship. But cause she's one of the new face ones, she's not ready to ship until the end of December. So I was like, no, I just want Kiori now. And here she is. So they sent me the invoice. I paid the invoice. I paid the invoice on Tuesday. It is Friday. This doll made it to me in a, from a different country in four days. So take her out of her shipper. Ooh, very exciting, very exciting. Another thing is that I've been keeping up with the tracking since Tuesday. Today, at six o'clock, it said she'd been delivered. Nobody knocked my door. I've been in since midday. Nobody had knocked my door. So I was a bit panicking. Went downstairs and whoever delivered her had left her in the foyer, was not impressed at all. Said that she was delivered at two. I went and collected her after six. So um, this is... Ugh. Karma Kiori Sato dressed doll. The Fashion Royalty Sacred Lotus Collection. A couple more tidbits whilst we get into this. Kiori wasn't actually my first choice, which makes it sound bad. But basically, I did order the pre, uh, the pre face. I ordered the new face doll first, as soon as they got revealed. Um, so as soon as I got revealed, I ordered the new face doll that I wanted of my choice. Can't wait for her, but she didn't ship until December. And then I was like, no, I definitely want a fashion royalty doll. They come months earlier, so I'll be able to afford it. I tried to get in contact with one retailer to order a, a goddess Tatiana out of stock. Aisha and Natalia were already out of stock everywhere. So it was between goddess Tatiana and this one. I picked Karma, but I did try and order goddess as well. And um, she just went out of stock. So I would have had both of them if I could have. But also, if anyone is a W Club member, because I'm not, and wants to get uh, Devotion Agnes for me, or like, let me buy her through your membership, hit me up. Okay, so, here is the box. This is just, this is actually my first one of this, because it's like, very similar to the one I got a lease in, but it actually just says Fashion Royalty here, and it is being blown out just a little bit. There we go. Same fastenings and mechanism though. And to be fair, this actually looks a little bit pinker. Very cute. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, are you ready? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, she is stunning. Wow. So the reason I first ordered her over Goddess, um, several reasons. She comes with more pieces, in my opinion, that can be used elsewhere, like the glasses, the boots are amazing, the top underneath you can remove. Love this bag. But also, I hadn't got a Kiori. I don't have a Tatiana, but I hadn't got a Kiori and I really wanted one. I liked her in this skin tone. I presume someone with a name like Kiori Sato and seeing the rest of her like incarnations is meant to be um, Asian. But I love her in this kind of like 
Is it sun kissed? Latino skin tone. I've got her text specs. But let me just tell you, she is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Okay, so let me just read you her little backstory and then we'll get into the doll. When Kiyori Sato received the official invite to Isha's big comeback premiere, the first person she texted was her friend Natalia Fatal. The pair immediately started giggling, knowingly remembering all the tricks that they pulled at Isha's very first premiere party some 14 years ago. And of course, they immediately started planning more of the same. Little did they know, Isha and her friends at W Cosmetics, the official sponsors of the event, had grown wiser and were well ahead of them. Whatever they'd be planning this time to steal everyone's thunder, the W crew would be ready for. The ever mischievous Kiori Sato better watch herself since Karma has no problem getting back in touch with you when you... when... whatever. I have to say that they... Um, I'm not really up to scratch on the backstories of the characters. I know there's certain people that don't like each other. I know that the parents are all a family. So, Kiori's tech specs are as this. She has an addition size of 850, her head sculpt is Kiori 2.0, body sculpt is FR 6.0, foot sculpt is high heeled, her skin tone is Latino, hair colour is bronze with golden highlights, her eyelashes are hand applied and she doesn't quick switch. She retails for $155 US, which I'd say I paid just a little bit more than that, but that's only expected when people have to import them, I suppose. Approximate shipping date was October. So here Kiori is all dressed up. Absolutely loving her. But before we actually go over this kind of like all of her, I just want to show you the other thing she came with. So I did put her other pair of hands on, but this is her original pair. And this is the ring. Because these are the new gloved hands, they're actually a lot thicker, so the ring doesn't fit on them. So I might put these hands back on her. And then, of course, comes with her IT hand tag, which I've taken off, and her certificate of authenticity. And I thought it was really cool that I got number 300 exactly of 850. Love these, they're so pretty. Starting from the bottom up, she of course comes with her stand and it is just the saddle stand that goes in between her legs there, as you can see. And then her boots, oh wow, these are gorgeous. And I have to say, so much easier to put on than Natalia's, uh, oh, you didn't actually get to see that review because it got ruined. But um, Wicked Behaviour Natalia has some thigh high boots and they are so hard to get on. These literally took me like two minutes to put on, they were dead easy. They're just a black pleather boot with a kind of like plasticky toe cap. Maybe more like a patent pleather actually. But I do think they're gorgeous. They fit her really well. And these were one of the reasons I bought them. I thought it was so versatile. Her bag is a really unusual design. Hmm, she's falling. See, this is why I don't like saddle stands. But it's really... um. It's really different, the shape and everything. It's like um, a trapezium, but you don't normally see bags like It is a proper working bag. It even has a little popper in there. It is fully lined. It has these metal handles. Her dress is absolutely stunning. So it is two parts. You've got this black bit, which is a bodysuit underneath, and this um, gorgeous, kind of like, brocade pattern you know what I'm on about and it's navy and blue it needs to be pulled down a bit and shown properly and then it is fully lined in this gorgeous black satin and it has this over the shoulder detail which really brings in that Asian theme that we've got going on at the moment um, the sacred lotus kind of vibe it has this gorgeous little collar and it's all ruched and ruffled perfectly. Oh, I love it. Her face we'll get to in a moment. These are glasses she comes with. Now, I'm actually shocked about these for two reasons. One, I thought I'd like them a lot better on her than I do. I don't know if it's just me, but I can't seem to get them to look how they look in the 
promo photos and whilst I really like the glasses I'm not going to be using them on her unless I can get them to look spot on the second thing about them is I don't know why they're not working glasses I've never heard I've never seen a person get glasses from integrity that aren't hinged and properly working so can't even like put them there and have them like as a cute little accessory her earrings are stunning they are just a black gem with some drop detailing very pretty and then her hair is quite long it comes down to the middle of her back it does need a little bit of a um, straighten does need some just a little bit of TLC to make it not look like it's been in the box and then her face I'm blown away like this to me is just stunning and if you'd focus camera there we go look at that the eyebrows are on point this whole brown palette is something i really love in makeup i'm not normally somebody who goes for the new uh, neutral tones i really like bright colors but brown lipstick and brown eyeshadow together oh it just does something to me i absolutely adore it if you'd stay in focus look at that look at her face absolutely stunning so here is her dress off and it is really nice to be fair very well made fully lined with some hook detailing and that's not blood that's paint from my new repaint gorgeous gorgeous dress and then this is the bodysuit that she comes in so one i really like it but two it's not just a normal v-neck it's slightly off to the side and yeah, I think it's gorgeous. Again, this does fasten at the back with hooks. So shall we take this off, put the dress back on, like her promo pictures and see how that looks? Before I put her dress back on, I just wanted to show you what she looks like naked because you see a lot of dolls online nude and I absolutely love this body. I have to say, I really like the new face body, but I think this one just trumps it a little bit for me. Absolutely love the silhouette, the shape. And then she is articulated at the knees, the hips, the wrists, the elbows, the shoulders, and under her bust there. Oh, and of course, at the neck. And then this is just to show you her ring on the hand. And also just something quite funny. I don't know if it's even that noticeable, but she's got a tiny little finger on this hand it's clearly just like a defect, but see how that one's a normal size? That one's so small. And here she is in just the dress with no bodysuit underneath. Uh, I'll show you the bodysuit quickly. So again, just a uh, hook and eyes at the back, very gorgeous material. Again, fully lined. I really like this but I do think I prefer it with the bodysuit underneath this to me is looking even more even more fitting of the theme without it but I think it just fits like Curie's character a little bit better from what we're getting with the bodysuit so I'm definitely gonna put that back on her So that about does it for my review of Karma Kiori Sato. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm definitely going to rate her high up there. She's definitely in the 9.5 range out of 10. I absolutely love her. There's not really anything I can knock her down on. I think that she's super well made. Her screening is incredible in both placement and like just how stunning it is. Um, Everything was super simple to get on and off. Her earrings went in easily, her boots went on easily, her ring staying on her hand. Um, there's really nothing bad about her. I would definitely recommend looking into getting her. And to be fair, all of the dolls in this collection are absolutely stunning. If I could get more, I so totally would. But yeah, that's about it. So if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe if you feel that way inclined. Uh, let me know what you think about her and I hope to see you next time I make a video upload bye